Uh, hello guys, uh, I'm back. Uh, this is I, the third and most likely final video in the series. Um, basically in this, I'm just going to be going over web gear, you know, get the gas mask bag, you know, um, you know, pistol belts, uh, you know, knee pads, all that stuff. Um, for the era, uh, I guess let's just go ahead and start off with the web gear. Uh, this is an LC2. Uh, in the early 2000s, they most likely, it, no, they definitely would be using LC3s, uh, but there were some Marines uh, who were still using uh, LC2s, uh, I believe, uh, during the time. Uh, this is a pretty accurate setup, uh, except for the fact that, uh, you know, it's more of an 80s setup uh, because this is, again, my 80s web gear. Uh, and as such, I also have my 80s uh, bayonet, uh, well, 80s bayonet. Um, this is the, uh, I think it's the M7 bayonet. Uh, if you're going for at super accuracy, I would go for, instead of an M7, go for an M9. I think it's an M9 or an M8, bay M8 bayonet. I'm not for sure which one. Um, but that would be way less far than using this. Uh, I just have this because it's what I have on my web gear. Um, of course, you know, make sure to do your own research on, you know, what, what the SOP is and that sort of thing. Whenever it comes to the Alice gear, uh, during the time, uh, you know, do your own research, all that stuff. Um, so now that, that that quick segment is out of the way, uh, I guess we can go over knee pads. Uh, I use Condor knee pads. They are fairly accurate to the to the real thing uh, that they would have used back then. Uh, knee pads were usually just private purchase things. Uh, not everybody were issued them. So if if you don't, if you're like, oh hey, I, I don't want to use knee pads, then you don't have to because uh, they weren't a mainstay issue thing. They were private purchase. But if you want to go the extra mile, then you can. Um, and lastly, I guess, not I guess, uh, we have my M40 gas mask bag, um, with M40. I have an M40 in here, uh, with a filter. If you want to go super accurate, then you're going to want to get a second skin for your M40. Uh, M40s currently are going for a lot. Uh, hello guys, uh, I'm back. Uh, this is I, the third and most likely final video in this series, um, Basically, in this, I'm just going to be going over web gear, you know, get the gas mask bag, you know, um, you know, pistol belts, uh, you know, knee pads, all that stuff. Um, for the era, uh, I guess let's just go ahead and start off with the web gear. Uh, this is an LC2. Uh, in the early 2000s, they most likely, it, no, they definitely would be using LC3s, uh, but there were some marines uh who were still using uh, lc2s uh, i believe uh during the time uh this is a pretty accurate setup uh except for the fact that uh you know it's more of an 80s setup uh because this is again my 80s web gear uh and as such i also have my 80s uh bayonet uh well, 80s bayonet um this is the, uh, I think it's the M7 bayonet. Uh, if you're going for at super accuracy, I would go for, instead of an M7, go for an M9. I think it's an M9 or an M8, bay M8 bayonet. I'm not for sure which one. Um, but that would be way less far than using this. Uh, I just have this because it's what I have on my web gear. Um, of course, you know, make sure to do your own research on you know what what the SOP is and that sort of thing whenever it comes to the Alice gear uh, during the time uh, you know do your own research all that stuff um, so now that 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 quick segment is out of the way uh, I guess we can go over knee pads uh, I use Condor knee pads they are fairly accurate to the to the real thing uh, that they would have used back then uh, knee pads were usually just private purchase things uh, not everybody were issued them, so if if you don't, if you're like, oh hey, I, I don't want to use knee pads, then you don't have to, because uh, they weren't a mainstay issue thing; they were private purchase. But if you want to go the extra mile, then you can. Um, and lastly, I guess, not I guess, uh, we have my M40 gas mask bag um, with M40. I have an M40 in here 
uh, with a filter. If you want to go super accurate, then you're going to want to get a second skin for your M40. Uh, M40s currently are going for a lot. Uh, even the ones that aren't particularly, you know, in good condition, uh, they, they still go for a huge chunk of change. Uh, but if you are going for an HECU kit and you want to do the gas mask run, then you need an M40. Uh, because any other gas mask, uh, would be against the SOP. So, uh, yeah, definitely just use an M40. This is like the quickest one that I've done so far. Um, so that's basically it for the entire series, I guess. If, if I have anything else to add, then I'll probably do another video. But for now, I guess that's it. Uh, again, make sure to learn about the SOP with a lot of these items, you know, standard operation procedure. And do your own research before you buy a lot of this stuff. So, yeah, I guess I guess that's it. Uh, I'll see you guys, and, you know, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll try to do more content like this because I, I like doing this sort of content. Uh, but I'll also try to, you know, do my older content too. Uh, but, you know, other than that, uh, I'll see you guys. Uh, have a nice day. Uh, this this footage is uh, of me and my full kit. Uh, but uh, also, I, I forgot to mention one thing. You should also uh, look for some biker gloves as well. You know, uh, any sort of glove like that would work. Uh, I forgot to mention that in the video. Uh, again, thanks.